Good afternoon, how the devil are you? Welcome along, today is Sunday. It's the 23rd of January 2022 and this is our 4pm movement snack. How you doing if you're on catch up? Good to have you with us. Great to know that you can access it whenever you want really because we can't always mash our lives together, can we? We can't always get them perfectly in time. So it's right. It's great that you've got that opportunity to be able to um, do it on catch up. I love it. It's what it's all about. Right. Anyway, listen. If you are on catch up, pop us a comment in regardless. Let us know you've been in. It's always good to know that we've spared some time. We've shared some time. Sorry. <coughs> Together. Excuse me. I'm just having a cup of tea after getting home from Dad's dinner. So um, just have a little sip. If that's all right. I'm going to say hello to me live and live as they start to come on board now. I can see we've got three people there. I can see Dawn is there. I think that's Sandra who's popped up as well at the top. Uh, those are the two icons that I can see. Pop us a comment in. Say hello. Let us know you're here. Hello, Dawn. Here he's Dawn. Wavy, wavy to Dawn. How you doing? Hope you've had a good afternoon. You were up to something this afternoon, weren't you? You were having to work. Good to have you back with us. This is our 4 p.m. snack. This is our sway and our stretch and the culmination of the work that, <coughs> excuse me, Bex and Kelsey have done with you during the week. Ken, I think that's you that's popped up as well. So good afternoon, Ken. Hello, good to have you with us. No comments coming. There we go, they're coming up now. Thought no one was talking to me. You're here, look. Adil, good afternoon to you. Good to have you with us. Uh, need a movement prompt as uh, I've been at the computer since lunch. Oh, Dawn, we need to... Last stretch in place, don't we, for you. Um, hi, Dave, from Sandra Hewitt. I uh, hope you had a nice lunch with your family. Lovely, thank you very much. It was really, really nice. Um, got Dad home, got him sorted out in uh, back at home. Um, he's set for the evening now. <laughs> he had a nice lunch, he enjoyed it. Which is amazing, excuse me. Spent some lovely, valuable time with his great-granddaughter as well, which is, is good, he loves his great-granddaughter, so that's nice. Saw back, Dawn. We need to sort that out for you, don't we? We need to get that um, like a moving, get it loosened off for you. Um, that's what happens sometimes when we spend all afternoon at computers, isn't it? Uh, Gillian Hillier, good afternoon to you uh, from Port Talbot. Mostly keeping warm this afternoon after a cold walk on the beach earlier. Yeah. I saw from 12 o'clock, you know, I've been, been for a walk on the beach. I was, I was thinking about it, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> but still nice about having, having a walk along the beach. Um, you should have set an alarm to move regularly, Dawn. You should have, you see? Sit less, move more. That's what we need to do. Ken Green, good afternoon to you. Good to have you with us. And Margaret Wood is in as well. Hello again, Dave, and Sunday Swasters. Um, <laughs> I need to wake it up. Help you put uh, some rum in my coffee. Oh, did he now? Blimey. <laughs> rum in your coffee on a Sunday afternoon. There we go. That's your sorted for the day, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Me cup of tea. No rum in there, I promise. Nothing in it. Just a plain cup of tea. Bit of milk. Just a splash. Um, video really jumpy. Just me or are others seeing that? Is it jumpy for anybody else? Or am I just a bit jittery? Hopefully it's okay. We are on... Um, let's have a look. Let me just... I'll tell you what. Let me just change this on to... Uh, where we are at the moment. Let me lose those comments off there so I can put me screen back on. Where's me? Where's me lightning flash? There we go. Uh, is that better? Has that stopped, Dawn? I've put us on to 5G now. So hopefully we've got a bit, uh, bit better. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll turn my daughter, my granddaughter was using me uh, hotspot, mobile hotspot as well. So let me turn that off. See what that does. Is that better? Have I stopped jumping now? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what's happened sometimes as well. The the tripod is up against the chair here. You know, just the one leg sits up against the chair. And every now and again, I tap the chair or I hit the chair and it goes a bit of a, a wobble there. I'll try and move it away a bit so it's, it's not so bad. There we go. How are we doing? How are we doing for time anyway, everybody? Are we getting close to that um, 4 p.m.? Oh, we're gone, look. Right, so we've lost the comments off the bottom of the screen if we want to, yes? Um... Who else have we got coming in? Uh, Dawn says it's a 3-2-1. Gloria Leggett, 
Good afternoon to you, a dismal day, cheers us up. And yes, that seems better, thank you. Good, good, good. It must have been my uh, the fact that I was sharing my mobile hotspot. I forgot about that. That's the restaurant for you. Clear the screen. Are you ready for a three, two, one? Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome along. You're with Dave Montgomery from Later Life Training. Today is Sunday. It's the 23rd of January, 2022. And this is your 4 p.m. movement snack. It's our sway and stretch, our three-dimensional movements. Some rhythmical flowing movements and then some stretches. So if we've had a, a busy afternoon or we've had a quiet afternoon, this is going to gee us up a little bit. But it can also be part of our relaxation. It can be part of us bringing us back down again. Yeah? Shall we do it? Now, firstly, as always, you can decide whether you're going to do this in a standing or a seated position. The choice is totally yours. You decide what is right for you. In standing, we've got our fixed external support available to us. And in seated, we've got a good, strong, sturdy chair. That's what we want. Okay, thinking about our uh, posture, let's make sure that we've got our heels in line with our knees, our knees are in line with our hips, and we are lifting and lengthening out from our hips to grow that little bit towards us, gain this extra little bit of space here. Shoulders up, back, and pressing down, and then we're ready to go. We can stand in standing, in seated, we've got all that alignment to do, exactly the same, but first of all, we need to bring our back off the chair. I think this is how I finished, finished lunch. Like, oh... Lift the back away from the chair. Lift and shift. Oh, excuse me. Lift and shift. I've got those after lunch blues. Those after lunch yawns. Lifting and shifting into the front third of the chair, lining everything up, shoulders up, back and down. And then from here, we can start with our circulation booster. Lifting our heels away from the floor, up onto the ball of the feet, so we start to get some movement happening there. Now you keep going with that. I'm just going to pop this extra light on. Let's turn this one on before I sat down. That'll make things a bit bright. There you go, that's a bit brighter, isn't it? So, lifting the heels clear of the floor, creating a crease between the ball, the foot and the toe. We start to get this move happening into our legs. Exactly the same as standing, using our support if we need it. And then from there, we can take it into a bigger move, bring it into a march. Hiccups. Bring it into a march. So here, we start to lift the foot away from the floor. I guess that gives us an opportunity to point the toes down towards, sorry, I've got <laughs> point the toes down towards the floor. So we start to get some movement happening in the ankle joints as well. Now, pop an arm in, driving the elbow backwards, keeping it bent so we've got a driven, purposeful movement, not just a swing. And remembering that in seated, if we start to get muscle fatigue into those hip flexors, We've always got that prompt of coming back down into those heel raises, so we keep that movement going. Now, in seated and standing, we can change to the other arm. If we're not using support in standing, it's fairly easy. We just change the hand. However, if we are using support, we're still fairly easy, but we just need to think about it. So support in front, hand comes down, march keeps going, and we just change hands. If it's to the side, however, probably what we wanted to do firstly is lose the arm, make the march a little bit smaller, Take as many steps as you need to turn into your support. Both hands on as you turn into it. Once you've turned around and taken the other hand off again, you can bring it back into a bigger march on that other side. And then finally, in seated and in standing, if you feel steady and stable, both arms, both legs, get the whole body moving. We've now got more of the body moving, which means that we've got bigger movements happening throughout the body. And this is going to um, mean that we're asking more of it. So we're asking the heart to beat a little bit faster. As a consequence, we're going to breathe a little bit heavier as well. We're going to get that oxygen in, and because the heart's pumping a little bit faster, we're going to quicker on that movement of blood around the body to get the oxygen to the muscles where we need it. Warming those muscles, warming the joints, loosening the joints, ready for us to go into our sway. Now two minutes, three minutes max, yeah? Start to bring it down. So let's lose the arms to start off with, Bring the feet to a, a smaller movement. We might just want to come back down into a heel raise before we take a pause, and at which point we might feel as though we want to take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, let's get ourselves ready to go. So just a recap of where we were. We've got these arm movements. It's those um, Popeye, and it looks a bit like an archery type movement to me as well, yeah? So feet wise, let's just get our feet with the base support to start off with. Heels outside of our hips in line with our knees. And we'll start with just the arms. Clenching the, 
the fists, but not clenching hard. So bringing the fingers in, allowing the thumb just to come over the top, but it's not a real grip. It's just a, a bringing them in. <coughs> From there, we sweep the hands across the body, coming up in the centre. We take one hand out with the Popeye movement and the other hand comes out straight. Back shoulder height if we can manage it. From there, we drift the hands down. We come back up again, coming round, and same movement, but this time the hand is lower as far as the uh, Popeye is concerned, so we're down here, and the other hand is gonna press down and away. So whereas before we had this movement, on the second sweep, we bring the Popeye hand lower and we push down and away. That's our, our movement. Exactly the same on the other side. Now, if we're using support, one hand at a time, if you're using it to the side, one side might want to do a couple of revolutions of it and then change to the other side. It's exactly the same in our seated position. Same hand movements, fingers and hands across. We'll do it the other side. Look, we can take it out here. We come back down. We've got that lower movement as far as Popeye is concerned and that push down and away as far as the hand is concerned. Right, so let's have a look at the legs. What we want to practice is just a stepping back and a stepping forward motion. So we're gonna take a diagonal step backwards, not a huge one, but we take it toe heel to allow that weight to shift back onto this back leg. And then from there, we can shift the weight forward and backwards while we keep the feet on the floor. When we step back in, we bring the heel up, we step back in, toe heel. So let's have a look at that from the side. We've got this step backwards, diagonal toe heel the shift of the weight comes across onto that leg we've got the ability from there to shift the weight forward and backwards and then when we come back in heel comes off we step back into heel uh, hip width and we're back in with the toe heel so if we put those two parts together we've got our base of support we've got ourselves stood here lifting with those hands with the, the clenchness clenchness clenched fist Clenchness. New word. So clenching the hands but not tight, bring it up and across. And this is where we take that step back as we take it out for our um, Popeye arm and our straight arm. As we come and float those hands down, we shift the weight forward, we bring it back up again, and then we've got this lower one and this push away. And again, we've shifted the weight onto the back foot. As we sweep around again, we've got that step back in and then from there we can take it to the other side so as we take the Popeye arm out we've got that movement there we sweep it round coming forward we've got this lower movement that comes down and away with that lower arm and then bringing those hands back in to centre to step back in now make sure you've got room behind now in seated we can do exactly the same but we're not going to be able to take that step backwards so if you wanted to, you can put a bit of a step forward in, in which case it's going to go heel toe and a shift of that weight forward and backwards. That lower movement, Popeye, and that push down with the hand. And then as you come back in, you step back in toe heel and do it on the other side. Part one. Part two was this hand movement here. So from there, we've stepped back in, we brought the hands up. We press one hand away while the other one comes back a little bit. So have a look from the side. We've got that rotational movement happening through the abdominal area. And pushing one hand forward and bringing the other hand back. And we decided yesterday we'd do three of these. Yeah. And then on the third one, hold the hand back, bring the other hand in to join it. From there, we press down. Yeah. To where we started. Third movement, from here, we bring the hands up again, we sweep them out into this movement here. So like a double Popeye. Yeah, about shoulder height if we can, but if need to be a little bit lower, and then rotate them down and press them back down. That's where we ended it yesterday. So let's take it up to there. We've got our, our base of support, we've got our hands, we come up and across, stepping back, 
to allow that movement to happen. Actually, I'll step back on one, haven't I? I'll go back on me, we pop my arm. Blimey, here we go. So stepping back, and then shifting forward as we come forward. We've got that lower Popeye arm and that press down. We bring it back in and step back in. Again, sweeping that arm around, getting ourselves ready to take that step back with that high Popeye and press away. Shift the weight forward. Shift the weight back with that lower Popeye and that press down. Stepping back in, bringing the hands up. We set them and we come through. There's number one. There we go. There's number three. So this time that hand stays back. The other hand comes in and we press back down. Sweeping those hands up to give ourselves a double Popeye. Rotate around and press back down. That's where we got to yesterday. To add into that then, just to finish with our finale, we bring the hand up. We take a sweeping motion around and back down. So one hand comes up across the body, sweeps around in a circle with that wrist, taking those movements as well to end up with the palm facing forward. So have a look from the side. I bring it up, I sweep it around, like a royal wave really and down yeah so that's our final part to add into that and you choose which side you want to do that on as we do it through two times then we end up on the other side as well so let's try it through one more time now just remember that in our seated position all the movements are exactly the same we're taking that step forward rather than a step back but everything else is exactly the same with this double Popeye this rotation and this press. And then from there, we can bring the hand up and across with that rotational movement to bring us back down with our hand to the side. So, base of support, strong, lifted and lengthened up through this part. Hands clenched, we come across. We take it around and back, shifting that weight, coming around. Lower and pressing down, stepping back in. From here, we take that movement back, stepping back again with that high Popeye and arm extended, shifting the weight through. Again, we've got this lower Popeye and this press. And then we step back in again, bringing the hands up. We set ourselves in for these three movements, getting that bit of rotation through the mid region. Keeping the hand back, we press down. Here comes that sweep across with those clenched fists again to give us our double Popeye. Pressing down, sorry, rotating and then pressing down. And then we lift and we circle around and around to come back down. From there, we can take it in again with that lift and that lengthen, high Popeye, low Popeye coming up, and a press. Stepping back in, we take it the other way with that high Popeye and that press, sweeping it round again for this lower Popeye and the press down, coming back in and stepping back in, lifting and taking it through. One. Breathe. Think with, think you're breathing with it. Breathing in and out. This is the last one. So the hand stays back. The other hand comes in. And we press back down. Bring those fingers together again. Come back up for your double Popeye. Rotate and press. And then one hand opposite this time comes up. Circles around, circles around, and back. And there we are. That is your sway routine for this week. Let's go into our stretches. So starting off with our calf. 
we'll go a bit of a bottom, we'll go one, one bottom, one top, one bottom, one top, yeah? We'll do that today. So have some support by the side of you if you're going to use your support. Step back, toe down, heel down, bend the front knee and allow yourself to lean into it, getting that stretch into your car. In C2, you're going to extend the leg away, heel down, toes up, and then push the heel away a little bit more, easing it away, bringing the toes in towards you, getting this stretch into the bottom part of your leg. This knee stays unlocked, straight leg, but not locked at the knee. We hold it for around about 12 to 20 seconds, ease off, step back in, In standing if you're using your sport, turn to the side, in seated, get yourself set, away you go. Now in standing you step back, now if you're not using your support in standing, that's fine. You still say movement, big step back, toe down, heel down, bend your front knee and allow yourself to lean in. And you're trying to get the toes to point in the same direction. You want to make sure that this front knee, have a look at this front knee, yeah? So as I come back, I need a big enough stride so that when I step forward, my knee's not really further forward than my shoe. If I find myself here, and to get that stretch, I've got to go past my knee, we're putting a bit too much pressure onto that knee joint. So reset, step back, allow yourself to bend into it. Now the other thing to remember with that move, if you're doing it in standing, if you feel a little bit unbalanced, you can take your feet a little bit wider to start off with before you take that step back. And bend into it you'll still get that stretch it's about keeping that heel down at the back take a pause there after you've brought yourself back in let's come into our upper arms into our upper body take the arms out one hand inside the other push away open up across the top of the back in between the shoulder blades and if you want to if you feel comfortable with it lower your head slightly so you're just looking under your hands looking about six to eight foot in front of you <sighs> breathing in and out so in through your nose and out through your mouth. Lengthening those muscles between your shoulder blades, releasing out from there. Coming back into our, our legs, again with our standing position, if we've got the support by the side of us, and leg closest to the support stays still. The other one steps forward. Your hand comes further, if you, further forward if you're going to use your support. So when we hinge, we're level with our shoulder. Lift a little bit taller, hinge at your hip, and feel that stretch come into the back of the thigh. Now in seated, we pop the foot out, exactly as we were with our, our calf to start off with, but then lower your toes towards the floor a little bit. Relax those toes down. Put your hands on your bent knee, sit a little bit taller, hinge forward and feel that stretch coming into the back of the thigh. That's what we're aiming for. So you that lengthening down through the back of the thigh. Now if you feel it easing off, take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, try and take it a little bit further. In seated, hinge a little bit more. In standing, push the bum away a little bit more. Feel that stretch coming back on, down through the back of that, that leg. And then from there, push back up, step back in, feel the stretch ending. Change to the side, turning into your sport if you need to. And again, if you're not using support, remember we can still do this in standing. Look. So foot comes forward. We put the foot flat on the floor. We lift a little bit taller. We hinge at our hip. And the hands can either go onto the back bent leg or onto your hips. Just don't put them down through this knee. Now again, if you feel it starting to ease off, you take a breath in, and as you breathe out, we try and push it away a little bit further. Stick the bum back a little bit. And then from there, when you've reached your 12 or your 20 seconds, whatever feels comfortable for you, unhinge. Remembering that none of these stretches should hurt. We should feel them. Last one into our chest. So, in standing, hands behind, small of the back is where we're going, either palms in or palms out. In seated, exactly the same. But what you can also do in seated is place your hands onto the side of the chair, just behind your bum. Have a look at this movement though. So for everyone we've got, we draw the, back, the shoulders back slightly, but the main lift, or the main uh, movement, is to lift that chest. So although I draw the shoulders back slightly, I actually lift that chest to get that stretch. And this is where we should feel it, across the top of our chest. Opening those muscles up. Getting nice, big, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Holding for around the 20 second mark. Releasing out. You might have a little roll of your shoulders. You might want to have a little pedal in your feet. And that is, a stud. That is your sway and stretch for this afternoon. Have a great evening, everybody. Enjoy the rest of our... Um, 23 month man of month anniversary that's the word i'm looking for month anniversary um yeah we're just you know 22 months sorry not 23 we're two months away from being two 
can't be bad, can it, eh? Now listen, um, stay active. Even if you're sitting, stay active, yeah? Keep moving. Try and stand more, sit less. But keep moving. Keep your crowbar out as well. So you can crowbar a few extra movements in. It might be some of those stretches. It might be that sway again later. You always can go back and have a look at it. That's me done for today. I'll see you in the week. I think I'm on 8 a.m.s next week. Just need to confirm that with the, with the girls. They'll tell me where I am. Uh, and I'll be there if I can, okay? <laughs> so I think I'm on 8 a.m.s, in which case I'll be with you all week. Have a great evening, everybody, and I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.